Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to give each post on your website a different background color. So I have a website here that I've designed and built. And as you can see, there are many posts here. Each post has some information on different fruits and vegetables. So when I click on apple, for example, the background appears red. If I click on avocado, it is green, banana is yellow, and so on. So all these pages were made as posts, and they're all following the same template. So you can see that they contain the title, some information about that fruit, uh, an image here, and so on. But the background color is unique and different for each post. So we will see how to do this using Elementor and Advanced Custom Fields plugin. First, go to the plugins and add new. And then in search, put advanced custom fields. If you don't have it already installed, then uh, install it and activate this plugin. The next thing we want to do is once you installed it, you will see this custom fields in your sidebar. So click here and we want to add a new group. So we will go here, add new, add new field group, and let's give it a name. So for example, post. And now we want to add a new field. Uh, so click add field and this label will be basically the color for our background. So I will call this background color. And in field type, we want to check, we want to uh, choose this color picker within jQuery. So choose color picker here, uh, required, it can be a required field and it will, it will have some custom, uh, custom color here. So here you can see the hex code that we can use to define our color for the background. Once you're done, click on publish and our group, our field group now is live. Here you can see that it, it says that this group should be shown if the post type is equal to post. So for all our posts, we will have this, uh, um, this option to give it a unique background color. So the next thing to do is I will just quickly create some random posts. So let's see, uh, post add new. And let's say that this will be yellow post. So for this post, I will just create some random text here, some lorem ipsum, maybe I will give it some featured image just to put some content here. And then if you scroll down, you see the background color field that we just defined in our uh, advanced custom fields field group. So I will select, click on select color and let's give this some yellow yellowish color here that would be our background so let's do something very light here something like this or we can just put the code here and it will apply that color okay so let's click on publish now let's create one more post here just to show you the, that they will have different backgrounds let's call this one blue post and again let's give it some some text, maybe I will put some featured image here as well. Maybe something more on the blue side. And then if I scroll down again, I will choose my background color. In this case, this would be some blue, light blue color. Maybe something like this. And I will click on publish. Now the next thing I need to do is actually to create a post template. So in order to do this, I'm using Elementor Pro and actually all of this is available with Elementor Pro. Uh, so if you don't have it, uh, you can use the link below to put, purchase the license. If you do have it, so you will see the team builder within templates in your sidebar. sidebar. So click on team builder and we want to create a new post template. So single post and add new. Since I will be creating a blank template, I don't need any pre-made ones and I can start from scratch. So I will just click on X here. And uh, now I just want to make a few settings here. Click here on settings and the page layout, I will use Elementor Canvas. And preview settings, I want to actually see what I'm doing. So I will use my yellow post that I just created. So let's do it this way. Okay, and uh, now the next.
next thing is that I want to create a section. Let's say one column section. And uh, I want to put some post content here and maybe a featured image just to have something to work with. So as you can see, this is our um, featured image that we defined for our post. And the next thing, uh, now the most important part is actually to give this section a background color. So if I click on the section, go to style and in background, background type, click on classic. Now here, if I click on the color, I have something called dynamic tags. And if I open it, you can see the ACF or advanced custom fields color picker field. If I click here and click again, and within key, I want to select background color. You can now see actually how this looks like. It applies the background color that we've defined, with, which is blue in this case, and it creates uh, that it creates a post with that unique color, which means that you can have millions of posts. They can all follow the same template. You just assign a different color to each post, and then they will all be basically with unique backgrounds. So once you're done, click on publish, and then add condition. We will say that we want this to be within post category and for all posts, save and close. And this should be it. Now, if I go back to my dashboard and I want to see how my posts actually look like, let's go back one more time. So now if I go to my blue post, let's go and see how this looks like. It has a blue background and some content that we defined. If I go to yellow one, it has a yellow background. Simply by using advanced custom fields, color picker field, and assigning a unique color for each background. Then in the template for those posts, we just say that the background should have this, should use the value from this advanced custom field. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe or comment below.